Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So, today I want to talk about Ethereal Visions. So, we have Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot Deck. Ethereal Visions Luna Edition, which is an indie version that I purchased after the Kickstarter, but before it was sent out. And then Dreamscape Oracle, which is the matching Oracle deck. And they're all by Matt Hughes. So mass market, mass market, and indie. Just so we know what we're doing here. So what I wanted to do was, I got this while I was waiting for this. And then got this. Because I want to know the differences between these guys. And I heard this was like a really updated, a little bit more uh, diverse version of this. So, I figured we do a flip through and then I can figure out which one I want to keep. Because I definitely don't need both. Um, but I want to decide which one I like more. So, I, I barely use them. Like, I barely flipped through this one. And I think I've shoveled this one once. And maybe this once. I already tried to film this, and my video kept cutting out for some weird reason, So, and they weren't in order. So I took that as a sign. These needed to be in order to film this video, so let's get right into it. So already, beautiful boxes with all that shimmer. The bags. And the bottom. So really, really nice boxes for the decks. And again, with Dreamscape, it's the same thing. Lots of that shimmery stuff. It's beautiful. And pictures of the cards on the back of this one and on the back of this one. All right. So if we look inside our beautiful boxes, this one's a nice mint color and this one's a nice starry night. And these are the insides of our boxes. They're all plain. So easy peasy. So when we look at our guidebooks here, this one's just a little white book that's got a few keywords for the mass market. Woo. Don't get my cards out of order after all that work. And there's a little bit more in this indie edition. So that's really nice. So that's a plus size. And then for our Oracle deck, it's not a really big Oracle deck and it's like mixed with different things, which I think is really cool. And you have quite a bit, for, like not a huge amount, but it's nice. We got a nice big picture for each one. So that's cool. So if we take our guidebooks out of the way here, and let's look at our decks. What I thought we would do is look at the two tarot side by side and then go through it. Um, this is not edged. This one's not edged. These are the backs. And this one is edged, of course, because it's an indie. Look at that shimmer. Um, I got to say right off the backs, I enjoy these backs. This one I'm not so sure of. So, and this one's, of course, got the foil. This one's got shimmer. Like, I think these go really well together. These go okay together, but I definitely am liking these better. So, let's pull the oracle aside here for a little bit, and we'll go through that later. And I figured we'd go through the tarot card by card and just card by card in comparison and see what is better or what you might like better. Oh, wait, are these... I just put these in order. What did I do wrong? Oh, I put the <laughs> the majors in backwards, but they are in order. So give me a quick second here, and we'll be ready to go. Maybe? What did I do? Oh, I know what I did. There we go. That should be in order now and ready to go. A little bit of technical difficulties. <laughs> um, let's zoom in a little bit here so we can get a nice look at the cards. 
I'll push my crystals up a little bit so we can get a little bit closer. Because you all want to see those cards nice and close up. All right. So I'm going to move that out of the way. And here we go. So here's our fools. You can definitely, definitely see the gold foil here where this has like that silver rainbow foil on this one. Um, this card is definitely a little bit more vibrant and bright, and the colors are more saturated, which I definitely like better, and darker colors are more vibrant, I guess. Oh, the magicians are very different. I definitely like this one better. These are pretty similar other than the coloring. I love the darkness better. I'm not a huge gold person. Like, gold is okay. But I definitely prefer white gold, silver, rose gold. Again, these empresses are pretty different. Much prefer this one. And the Luna Edition. Now, the Emperor. This is These are very, very different in age, style, everything. Um, this one's definitely much more attractive to me. But this one definitely, I think represents the emperor a little bit better but i do really enjoy this the hierophant this is very much more classic but this is really pretty the lovers is pretty similar just a little bit more darkness and vibrancy in the luna version again the same with this the foil is different oh here we go Strength is pretty different. Oh, I definitely think this one's more powerful in the Luna Edition. The Hermit. The Wheel of Fortune, it's similar. Oh, here we go. We got some differences here in the Justice. Yeah, I definitely preferring the Luna Edition. I gotta say. But I did like the Owl in the original. Similar but different coloration. And with the darker lettering, I definitely prefer that in the Luna. It's a little more easier to read. I definitely prefer the darkness in Luna. Yeah. I, like, we're only halfway through the majors, and I definitely see the Luna winning out here. And not just because it's indie. I don't even care that it's indie. I just like the coloration a lot better. I think it's more vibrant. It sticks that way better. Oh, wow. You even have his face foiled. That's cool. Ooh, the star. The moon. Oh, I love the archery. I love archery to begin with, so that's a win. Anytime there's a bear or there's archery or a wolf, I'm all about it. I actually prefer the original sun card better, surprisingly. But it's nice that there's a man in the sun card. That's not something you see often, so that's really great diversity. Pretty similar judgment. The world is definitely better in Luna. Giving a little bit more diversity again. A bigger girl, which is nice to see. And she's beautiful. And the well versus face, or fate. Oh, I definitely prefer the fate versus the well. The imagery much more makes sense to me. So that, I guess, would be the Wheel of Fortune, because that's the last card. And then you've got some extra cards. So we have the Aries and the Agape and the Luna. All right, now we're in our cup suit. So let's just straighten these up a little bit. I like a nice straight pile versus a mess. Can't help it. So we have our cups similar. So a little bit more diversity in the three of cups. So that's nice. Yeah, I definitely like the color variations 
which I feel like is the biggest difference. Like, there's some card changes, but a lot of it's just coloration differences, which I definitely enjoy. Oh, and the more foiling. That's really cool. And even, like, this looks way more realistic with the darkness. Oh, yeah, that's way better. It just looks richer and more, p more potent, I guess, is the way, best way I can think to explain it from my view. Oh, look at the Ten of Cups. Oh, that's so cute, and it's nice that it's a mixed race couple. Yeah, the line work is much more saturated and the colors more saturated the cardstock actually this is a thinner cardstock in the luna edition but it almost has like the same textural feel this one's just got that little bit more rubbery if you can hear that where the luna is more smooth but the luna is definitely thinner obviously it's an indie it's better cardstock oh look at those kings all right, now Ace of Wands. Um, for cardstock reference, this is the Luna the Indie, so it doesn't quite have that same snapback. It's a little more soft, where the mass market definitely has that snapback. Again, just different colorations. Oh, the blanket or the robe or whatever he's wearing is a def totally different color there. Pretty similar in that Four of Wands. Oh, different colored shirt. So that seems to be a thing as they fixed up a lot of the colors. Oh, this is a big difference in the Eight of Wands. You have just the wands, it almost looks a little pippy um, versus someone actually going. That's cool. I like that upgrade. And I love all the blue and purple upgrades, since that's definitely more my jam versus the red and orange of the original. Actually, the cat looks better in this one, surprisingly. So very similar cards. And I know it's supposed to be a salamander, but every time I look at it, I see gecko, because I have geckos. I can't help it. All right, pentacles. Oh, it's so pretty. So again, here they've changed up um, the races a little bit. That one's pretty close. Yeah, here's just the coloration. My messy, messy piles. And I know we're almost done, but can't help it. Yeah, and the silver foil is definitely something I like better than the gold. Absolutely. Oh, this one, different gender and race. That's cool. And foil here, and there's not here. We got our queens. Our kings. All right, last suit here, swords. I like that she's sitting, actually, versus standing up. And on the floor versus in a chair. Very simple, three of swords. Four of swords is actually pretty different. That's interesting. Very Joan of Arc feeling. And I like the lotus. Different colored shirts. Again with the robes here. Theta of swords is pretty similar. I feel like that's one they could have changed up actually. 
Maybe put a man there for once. Men have conflict too. Oh, this one they changed up quite a bit too. Ooh, I like the cauldron in that one. And this one they changed up a lot actually. I really like that. And I like that the cauldron matched the queen. So then what I thought we would do is do a quick flip through of the oracle. Now that you've seen the tarot's, So this is the beautiful back, this is the oracles, like I said it was an edge because this one's mass market. And comparing it to the full at least, we got Luna Moth, the prophet, and I just feel like this foil, even though it's like a gold and silver actually, I feel like it, it actually can go with both, but it also is picking up color, so I feel like it goes with the Luna a little bit better. Sea Turtle, the world. Spring, the shadow, koi fish, fawn, tiger, serpent, death mother, the seer, the scales, memory, balance, the gift. The Gate, which is really potent. Raven. The Selkie. Blood Buffalo. The Light. The Architect, which is amazing. Happy Eagle. And Sun Bear. We all know how much I love bears. So this card is like everything to me. Octopus. The Knight. Rabbit and Fox. So pretty. And I love this White Owl card too. Palomino. The Path. And Elephant. And the Silence. So I'm pretty sure I am going to put up for trade or sell the original Ethereal Visions. Like I said, it was shuffled like once and then I put it back in order and used it for this. So it's been touched twice. It's totally brand new. But I thought what we'd do is give a little shuffle and pull an oracle and a tarot and see how they match. So pretty easy shuffle. This is like a smaller oracle deck. It's not a ton of cards. Um, but it's got some variety, which I think is nice. Oops. And I like the card stock. So let's pick a card. Oh, the sun bear. As I'm filming, I actually just filmed Tarot Extremes and got this amazing, like, card by chance. Um, Daughter of Roots, which is a bear, and then I pulled a sun bear. And for anyone that knows, me and bears have a strong connection, especially when it comes to my dad. Sorry about my arm. Um, so, that's freaking amazing. <laughs> that's really, really amazing little shuffle of the Luna edition of Ethereal Visions. Let's actually see if I can riffle a little bit here. I'm not so good at riffling, but we'll give it a go. Have a nice little riffle. Oops. See, I flip cards over all the time. Let me know what you guys think. When you have cards that pop out like that, do you use those or you do not? Do you use them sometimes? For me, I don't really use them because I know I'm not that great at shuffling yet. And so I just feel like it's from me bad shuffling. It's not like a meaning. It's just a bad shuffle. So give me a tarot card to go with my sun bear, please. 
and page of pentacles what the hell as i talk about daughter of roots which is the equivalent to page of pentacles guys that's a little freaky and that's a girl with blonde hair wearing a purple robe i wear a lot of purple and i got blonde hair right now okay let's move on but just a little freaky okay all right i guess that's the end of that video um until next time don't forget to stay tuned on tarot Nap plans youtube tiktok twitter um facebook and mostly instagram and i'll see you next time don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell and do all the fun things and i'll see you around tarot tube bye guys